for Cinco de Mayo. Right. You can start grilling up some fajitos. Friday is Cinco de Mayo, and all of the celebrations around here are going to be going out. But we all know St. Paul, they know how to throw a good party. That's the place to be. And this will be the first Cinco de Mayo for Pajarito, a new restaurant and bar in the capital city that cooks up contemporary Mexican dishes and serves up some heat in the most popular drink on their menu. You know, we have families that come in with newborns for lunch, you know, that live in the neighborhood. We have, you know, people coming in a bus from a retirement home, and then we have the 20 to 30 year olds from happy hour. Or is that the point to make Absolutely. sort of a neighborhood yep. hangout for everybody? That's why we came to the spot we were at. Stephen Hesse and his business and culinary partner, Ty Nelson, have changed the accent on the historic Glockenspiel restaurant. The floor and tin ceiling are original to the 130 year old space. Gone is the drywall that covered the rustic brick walls and the wall that blocked the view between the bar and dining room. New is the bar. This mural from artist Kyle Woodridge. He's done like the caboose, the joint, all the big murals on the side of the walls. And the recipes. We use traditional flavors and, and, and ideas, but we put our more unique twists on it as chefs. So give us an example of a dish. What, what's contemporary Mexican? Uh, well, like our agua chili. So agua chili is basically, you know, raw fish with a marinade. You know, we do ours a little different with uh, juiced cucumbers and serranos and a little shaved uh, pomelo. Special for Cinco de Mayo. So we have the Cinco de Mayo party going on. We partnered up with Bad Weather Brewery down the block. Um, also, the Beer Dabbler store will be here uh, doing some stuff. And we have a band. We have, uh, we're doing a whole pig and, and lamb. Really? Uh, we have a fruit stand. We're doing snow cones. And their habanero cilantro margarita, developed by bar manager Kara Smith. A lot of people want to put their own spin on it. They don't want just a plain, boring margarita. So what I've done is I've come up with a spicy margarita. Start with rested or reposado tequila. El Jimador is a great tequila to use for mixed cocktails yep. because it's what not. I gonna, use. Yeah, it's not going to break the bank, but you still get a really great tequila flavor out of it. Then dry curacao instead of triple sec. You don't want the margarita to be overly sweet. I think that's a complaint that a lot of people have when they get margaritas is that it's way too sweet. A little herbaceous sweetness comes from a house-made cilantro simple syrup. And along with some lime juice, all of that gets shaken over ice. The final step is to add some spice in what's called a tincture. Essentially what you're doing is you're using um, a spirit, most likely Everclear, and you're putting in, whether it's habaneros, strawberries, something, and the alcohol extracts all the flavor. So I like my drink really spicy. Okay, so I add easy a, now. I'm going to so, try some so of this. So I add Karen. a lot. <laughs> Call the fire department. Oh, that okay, that is spicy. Yes. You do like them spicy. <laughs> That's really good though. Yep. The rest of the drink is very mild, so yeah, you yeah. could easily control the level of spice yep. depending. Yeah. So they have uh, lunch, dinner, and now brunch for the second weekend. It uh, is delicious. If you want to see the rest of the menu and today's recipe, just go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. And you said it was really spicy. Uh, well, the way she made it, yeah, but you just ask them to put less of that tincture in. You're good to go. Okay.